We are in Canton, Ohio, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame for a Week 10 game that feels like wild card weekend between the Pittsburgh Maulers and the New Jersey Generals in this countdown to kickoff. But today, they are the enemy. Yeah, they're going to get it on today. Eccles Looper from just outside the 10. Has a nice lane, and then he is stopped up right after he crosses the 30. That's Dale Warren. Started six games this year. He's 3-3 three and three as a starter. Played for Lane Kiffin at Florida Atlantic. He is fast, too. Ran a 4-3-7 at his pro day. Protects the ball. Great. He's thrown a Johnson flips it to Darius Victor, and he has been their star. You see why as he crosses midfield, gets his first carry of the game. Kingston Davis in the game at running back as well. Johnson looking downfield, has a wide receiver, takes a big shot, but catches the ball anyway. Been a great kicker. And something Coach Riley prides himself on is finding good special teamers. You see why? Here he is trying to get this team into the playoffs. Williams, protection's been an issue, protection stays an issue, and he goes down on the very first offensive play. Troy Williams, he really has energized this offense that can't protect like we're talking about. Been a bright spot of an offense, really, as you look at season one, season two, it's not one of the... Third and 12. Williams looking down the sideline, and that pass is caught. Pistol look. Williams steps up in the pocket, delivers a strike for a touchdown right down the middle of that defense to Isaiah Henney, his favorite target. Just a little seam route as he gets over the defender, splits the safeties. The ball has to be thrown on time so that he doesn't get led into the linebackers. Troy Williams throws a dart right here. A lot made about these two defenses early on. It's the offense is putting on a little show as we have the old slip and kick here. That is no good. Take it tackles Looper and Johnson is spun down hard. Ripped to the ground by Terry Beckner. Empty look on a third and nine. Williams trying to escape the rush and he cannot. He goes down right there. It's Colin Hill and Colin Hill was phenomenal. This team in this offensive line looked like in previous weeks. This is a high punt from the goal line. Penalty marker comes out. Do they make contact there with the punter? As this ball is still rolling down oh. from the Roughing the kicker. Here. Number 45, defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot with an automatic first down. Here's Williams. Wants to run with it early and just lost his footing. Offensive line of the generals, they're big. They lay on you. They make you say uncle later on in games. Here's Johnson trying to escape, and he finally just falls to the ground. Give credit to Boogie Roberts. Product of that offensive line, really. They have struggled on third down. Third and 10. Williams firing. Stockton brought down. But Williams inactive today. We didn't hear much about an injury. So trying to figure out exactly why that might be. As you see, Vito, this may be one of the reasons because they like Victor so much. A speed guy, a guy affecting the game in the passing game. They're trying to throw it here, but it's intercepted. It couldn't get past the safety who was down in the box. It's Tarpley. Arnold Trey Tarpley with the pick. Right. As you can see, Tarpley not going for the fake, not being affected. It ran up in there a little bit but had the wherewithal to stay in the passing lane and get the interception so that guys can remember after the kick to cover. And we have seen one of these return, and this snap goes over the head of Mingle. It's loose. Football is on the ground. Chris Blewett just dives on it to save a potential touchdown. Special teams unit. You, you see the base, snap Aaron? right here base, base, right base. through Matt Mingle's hands and continues to roll into the general's territory for DeAndre Johnson. Johnson, quarterback draw. Can he get the edge? Initially, yes, and he's trying to work down the sideline. He gets close to that line to gain. It's time for 35. He's been money. Last year, looking like he didn't get that again. 
Here's Williams, complete, Bailey Gaither. Gaither lost the football, ball is out. Ball is loose and the generals dive on top of it. It's Askew Henry who's getting the last lap. What a great tackle by Miko Dotson, cornerback for the New Jersey Generals. See Bailey Gaither right there, just not keeping the ball high and tight to his body. All ball carriers know as you're getting tackled, you're supposed to squeeze the ball. But going down to the ground, the human body doesn't always do that, so you have to be conscious of it. You see. Johnson, play action on the scramble. Johnson gets it complete. That's Cam Eccles Looper. And that can... Johnson. That ball is knocked out of his hand and it's loose. They're going to call it a fumble. It's a fumble. It's loose on the ground. Eli Walker scoops it up. Eli Walker to the house. Touchdown Pittsburgh. Nazir player got a hand on it and Walker took it home. Boy, this is an incomplete pass. Close. Very close. Oh, that ball's out. That ball's out. That looks like a fumble to me. Good job by this Maulers defense really by keep playing. Just confirmed. play through. Touchdown. The whistle. You see Nasir player reaching his arm in. Doing a pass rush against Brandon Haskins. Right tackle for the Generals. Making a play on the outside. Nasir player is a Second seven high snap over the head of Johnson. Now he lost the football ball still on the ground and he's able to gather it. You see Pittsburgh. We fight for every inch. Yeah, Jack, I was on it. I, I, we had to do it. Here's Henny. Gaining some inches, gaining some yards here for the Pittsburgh Ballers. Here for regular season games. That's about as high as you can start with a playoff game. Absolutely. Here's Williams. Escapes the rush. Now there's some room, and he slides down inside the 20. So the defense of the Generals get off the field. Brings on Chris Bailey. Field goal attempt. That is good. Pass. Third and 10. Firing. That's a dangerous-looking pass. Keith Gibson broke it up. Williams hands it off. Big hole here. Groshek sprints through it. Takes it inside the 20. Now they're in turnovers. They get points when they're there. Andre London touchdown, Pittsburgh. Right here. Did not think that you would get this much movement from this offensive line. And you see Madre London almost walk into the end zone. Not touched until he got into the end zone by Paris Ford. Big time push by this offensive line. So that clock keeps on running. Third and nine. Johnson running. Throwing those shoulders downfield. He's going to pick up a first down. Just give a little life, little hope here. Here's Johnson. Scrambling. Johnson to the end zone. Trying to create something. And it is intercepted. Did he come all the way down with the yes? It's Mark Gilbert. Who else? <laughs> As you can see, DeAndre just trying to make some something happen. Gets moved in the pocket. Don't want to throw back across your body this deep. Throws it into the back of the end zone, trying to hope that one of his guys, every USFL championship, they're, they're always there. I look to see the Philadelphia Stars. Make sure you're time. Philly and Michigan as well coming up tomorrow afternoon on Fox. Complete again to his running back. Takes the Davis losing streak while they were going through exactly what you described and what Coach Riley described to us this week. It's Kingston Davis in on those sets. He was eating right, getting himself in shape for season number two, but it's also a passion of his. You know, he described it. So you got to heave to the end zone here. And wrap up this game that's going to fall incomplete. Through Matt Barman running the show. Jenny. Doing some amazing work. Jenny Glazer, she's awesome. Jack Collins worth saying so long from Canton, Ohio. We're ready for the playoffs. Starting to get it set in the USFL.